Hi everybody. Do you remember this tube rectifier? It uses two PU88 diodes or tube diodes connected as this. Both anode in both anode connected together and one on the input voltages or input voltage came in here and here as you can see it's supposed to run from a center tapped transformer but for now I'll just connect these two together and I get out positive voltage in the middle but I have connected the VRAC in the middle so I get negative voltage through here and here and they're connected together by this piece of wire and I'm going to power that light bulb up with it. So I turn my VRAC on, it's set on full voltage. As you can see nothing happened to that light bulb. We have a, uh, one milliamp. As you can see there's was wire in there. And this tube uses something called thermal emission when, the, when electrons uh, can leave the negative plate and travel to the positive plate with heat of course without heat that will not work it will not work so if I it's connected 24 volts for it as you can see here Filament voltage is, voltage is 24 volts and when it gets hot it starts to emit electrons and when you get out electrons you get a current and when you get a current that light bulb will light up it's got up to the right temperature it's a 40 watt light bulb Current is rising. One hundred and five milliamps, and as you can see, it's flickering a bit. So if I disconnect this one and connect it directly to the to the AC current. I see 174 milliamps. And yes, this PU88 has a filament voltage on 70 volts. That's why I connect to that resistor in there. And yes, that gets pretty hot. I'll disconnect the filament filaments and the current is sinking thanks for watching